Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing an awesome way to wrap your GoPro camera for Christmas in order to get the facial expressions of whoever is unwrapping it. So this is, if you're giving your GoPro as a gift and you want to have a lot of fun when they unwrap it, this is a great way to do it. What I got here, I have a brand new Hero 3 Black. It uh, doesn't need to be black. Anything, any of the new Hero 3s with the Wi-Fi enabled will work for this. Unbox, just unwrap the plastic off of it here. Um, the idea behind what we're going to do, we're going to very, very carefully, we're going to take the camera out of the box, charge it, update it, and then put it back in, but leave the Wi-Fi on. Now, I don't know the standby time of just Wi-Fi yet. I have a test running right now, and I will post that as soon as I know, and I will put the um, how long it is on the screen now, once I know. And so what we'll do is probably Christmas Eve, you wrap your camera, leave the Wi-Fi on, turn the Wi-Fi on, wrap it. And then on Christmas morning, when you're about to unwrap it, you get your smartphone out, you turn it on, you open up, you connect to the camera's network, then you hit record, and then you start the camera actually recording the unwrapping. So you'll have the camera wrapped up in a box, but it'll be turned on and recording. And then as someone unwraps it, um, they'll get the you get the facial expressions that they have as they look at the camera for the first time. And the nice thing with the GoPro is it's got this plastic housing on top, so we'll be able to see and capture everything. Couple of things you need to do this. Of course, you need a smartphone, so you either need an Android or an iOS device. You need the GoPro app. If you're not sure how to get that, there's a couple of links on my channel that talk about that. I'll make sure I put all the videos in the description of this video. And then you also need a micro SD card so that the camera can actually record something. Um, that also is what it needs to record anything, so good idea to have one of those anyway. Um, and then you just need to like very, very carefully. All right, so what we do here, remove these two little tabs off the side. And then slide the camera out of this case. Now, just be very careful with it, leave that aside. Then you're going to have to peel this band off. This is what opens the camera itself, and this is what detaches it from the, the plastic piece from the top of it. We do need the camera out. Now, if you're very careful with this and you set it aside, you'll probably be able to reuse it and put it back together. Take the plastic piece off the top. And then the camera itself, the easiest way just to get this out is just untwist the screw. Because I don't really want to take the remote off, and taking a remote off of one of these is a bit of a pain. So just take the screw out, and then just pull the camera out just like that. Alright, so that's your Hero 3 now detached. Um, take it out of the case. Now, once you get the other case, you're going to have to charge it. So, either find a if you if you have a USB cable, a mic, a mini USB cable. Uh, lots of old phones use them. You probably have one kicking around. If you have one of those, go ahead and plug that in to start it charging. But before you do that, you need to put the battery in. So, you're going to have to plug. Definitely going to need a USB, micro USB, or mini USB cable to charge this, as well as putting your SD card in the side here to get the battery out. This you don't need. Um, take the box, open it up, and then just bring, take keep note of how everything came out. So there's our instructions. This pit here gets opened up, and then the accessory box comes out of the, out of the box there. And in here. We need the battery 
and if you don't have a USB cable to upload and charge it, get the USB cable out. I have one, so I don't need that. Put um, whatever you got out of you don't need out of there back in, and then slide it back into the box. Close the lid on that. All right, to install the battery, oh, and then put the manuals and instructions on here. And we are going to have to go to GoPro.com and update the camera before any of this will work. So, all right, now open the battery. On the back of the camera, there's this little latch. You pull this to the side, that pops the back door open. Take the battery. Slide it into the box. Close the back door again by just hooking this side in and then keeping it closed. Um, all right, so there's the camera. Now, like I said, the battery's in it. It needs an SD card, micro SD card. Need one of those, and it needs a USB cable. The USB cable's in the box. Micro SD cards are not in the box. Those you need to purchase separately. All right, now you got to put the SD card in our camera, the micro SD card. So get one of them out. Um, Slide it in, just like that, it snaps in. SD card has to be put in before you update it. And then go to the second link in the video description or the link that I just posted on the screen to find out how to update it. There's a, basically you go to the support page on the GoPro website and then hit cameras, support, support cameras, and then GoPro Hero 3 Black or whatever model of camera you have and then you just update it through that. Um, quite easy to do, Very, the instructions are very simple, but you do need the micro SD card installed for that as well. Once that is, you've got that done, you can put, if you did get the USB cable out, make sure you put it back inside the camera, or back inside the box. Then put the, uh, the cover, the port cover back on, looks all nice and tidy. And then make sure the camera is fully charged. So if you had it plugged in your camera to, or on your computer to update it, <coughs> leave it plugged in. The red light will be on. That means it's charging. When the red light goes off, it means it's finished charging. Then, uh, so you've got to make sure it's charged. The camera's fully, fully charged. There's a blank SD card in there. And you remember your password and username that you set up when you updated it for connecting to a Wi-Fi remote. Yes? Good. If you've got all that, close the camera case back up. Um, you can check it if you want to make sure you know how to connect to it on your phone. So go through that, turn the Wi-Fi button on the side on. You will see the blue light comes on, then you put the camera up. And then in the settings menu, Once you get into wireless control, we should get to see the new option for, there it is, the GoPro app. And then we'll be able to connect to the GoPro app. Open up your smartphone and then open up settings on Wi-Fi it'll scan for it and it'll pick up the new, there it is, Kyle's Hero Black. Enter your password, connect to it, connected, and now open up the GoPro app, which you can get on the, either the GoPro on the App Store or through the Google Play Store. And then you can see you have preview there on the screen. Anything else you want, you can see it there. Um, you can then go ahead and just disconnect again from that. You don't really need it. Uh, you can turn the camera off, this off, and then you can turn the Wi-Fi off too. Uh, unless you're going to immediately wrap it, if you're going to immediately wrap it, leave the Wi-Fi on. Like I say, the standby time is still unknown to me, but there is a video coming out as soon as, well, right now I have the camera with Wi-Fi turned on in standby mode, and I'm just waiting for it to die so I can tell you how long it took for that to happen. Um, that will probably come out after this video gets posted. But, as for now, 
we have, well, we're going to say it's Christmas Eve and we want to wrap it for the next morning. We're going to leave it for, it's only got to be on for maybe a couple hours. So with the Bluetooth, or we're sorry, with the Wi-Fi turned on, we're going to put this all back together. Put this little camera slides back in here. Goes back through here. And then get screwed in. It can be a little tricky. Right, one last check. Make sure you've got the blue light blinking. That means that blue uh, Wi-Fi is enabled. Make sure the battery is charged. Put the case back on. The top piece back on. You're gonna get. Make sure that this is this little the hanging latch is facing back. Then take the tape, and in exactly the same way we did it before. It started here. You can see even the corners all line up. Just goes around, 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 and back down. And no one would be any the wiser that it's ever been opened. Then just slide it back into that outer box case. Just like that. And then if you want to have one more check before you put it away and you know you know what you're doing, or so you know you know what you're doing, again, connect to it in settings. Make sure you're connected to the right um, Bluetooth, the right the right thing in your Bluetooth set and your Wi-Fi settings. And then open the app, and now you can see that there's no preview here because the camera's not on, but there's a big power button. If you push the power button, the camera's gonna boot up. All right, so we can see the preview through the box, and you can see that it actually looks just fine. Like the box is definitely, you can definitely see the box in there, but it's not totally ruined. So uh, the next step now, turn this, turn this off, and turn the camera off with the power button, and then the camera turns off, leaving just the Wi-Fi on. Uh, next step is to wrap it. And there it is, a wrapped GoPro. Now, put this underneath your tree, and then on Christmas morning, just before someone's going to unwrap it, whoever you're giving it to, turn the camera on, and then hit record. All right, so now the camera's recording inside the wrap box. Now, when someone opens it, You're going to catch their facial expressions on the GoPro inside the box. Very, very cool. And I think it'll make some uh, very awesome video footage. So that was a very quick tip on how to just make the unwrapping of your GoPro camera you're giving someone for Christmas a little bit more special, and a little bit more unique, and give them some awesome video footage to start off with on their camera. Thank you guys for watching. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video talking about how to make an awesome video or, yeah, create, capture an awesome video of someone unwrapping their GoPro camera. Make sure you subscribe and check out my channel for lots more videos. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below and I will be sure to get back to you very, very quickly. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, check out my channel.